from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of Up Close and Personal here on The Horse's Mouth on Buzz TV, of course, and at my bar at Tommy Max, always brought to you by our friends at Heritage Capital Group. This time around, Brian Collins is here from Dry Pocket Apparel. Wait to hear about this really cool technology. Let's say hello to Brian. Brian, how are you, my man? Pretty good. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hey, pleasure to meet you. Great to have you at the bar and on the show. All right, talk about this technology. Talk about Dry Pockets. Yeah, so we are Dry Pocket Apparel. We are an innovative dry bag company that's introducing new products to the world each year. Okay. So essentially what we're doing is we're taking dry bags and putting them into unique products. So this right here is America's first ever swim shorts with a waterproof pocket tested up to 100 feet deep. Okay. So for, as an example, I went snorkeling for two hours with okay. my phone in the pocket, or which stayed, that camera, which stayed yeah, so completely dry. There. Yeah. So what it is, wow. is it's a uh, magnetic TPU dry bag okay. that creates the airtight seal that just by letting go, it seals air, water, gas tight in under a second. No kidding. Yep. And you were diving, you said recently? Uh, with snorkeling. Your, snorkeling. Snorkeling, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Had and no, no problems at all. No leakage at all. No, sir. No leakage. That is fantastic. All right. No. So how did you how did you come up? You're the founder. Yes, sir. How'd you come up with this idea? What 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 got it going? Uh, I, I'm, I'm a big guy, yeah. and I have a cheap kayak, and it's easy to fall out of. So okay. I just kept okay. falling out of my kayak, and then the last time my phone got swamped, and wow. I just started thinking, there's dry bags, there's clothes, put them together. Right. You know, and so yeah. uh, four years in the process of design, developing, making the connections, raising the funds and et cetera. Okay. We sell our first bathing suit in 2021 online. That's great. And then grew from there into all sorts of stuff. Very cool. Yeah, you brought some things right here. And bless you back there, my friend Wally. Um, these uh, backpacks. So this is great for anything like outdoors, going to uh, an event, you're going hiking, you're fishing, you're, you're mm -hmm. snorkeling, maybe working out down the road, yeah. going to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of stuff, right? That's what yes, we're sir. talking about. Yep. Anything you need waterproofed that you don't have, you know, that goes with it, this is what dry pockets is. Essentially. And, and we, you know, we didn't invent waterproof. No, right. You know, yeah, we're just, just implementing it, making it the experience of being outdoors more convenient. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just making it more enjoyable. Yeah. You can keep your phone on you, your cash on you, whatever the case may be, oh, not man. have to worry about it. We have surfers, for an example, that keep their key fob in our pocket and surf all day and lock everything up in their vehicle and don't have to worry about it. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like, I mean, especially with your phone. Mm -hmm. I mean, you freak out when the water comes with the phone, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, oh my gosh, the phone. <laughs> yep. I can't protect it, but with your technology, it's simple. Yes, sir. Even with the new phones that are claimed to be waterproof, it's a $2,000 phone, so nobody okay. truly trusts that. Right. So it's an added safety feature to keep that phone dry. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is four years in the making. Is that about right? Yeah, we, we started with the idea in 2016 yeah. and then finally launched in 2021 online. Okay. And then from 2021 to now, yeah. we've sold into every state all around Canada, down into Australia. We have a nice. Canadian distributor. We have 25 wholesale accounts now. Yeah. And, uh, Academy Sports, we're onboarding with their dropship program. So things are moving in the that right direction. Great. That is fantastic. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. How about when those things weren't happening? Because the, the struggle, everyone thinks it's like when you, you play in the NFL, oh, you just play on Sunday. Like, it's so glamorous. It's all, yeah, it is. But during the week, you go through a lot of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. You got to get through a lot of hurdles sometimes. How about with you being a, you know, you've, this is your idea. This is your, the founder. You got to give other people to believe in it. You got to find the money. You got to find the distribution. Mm -hmm. You know, talk about that, just getting through those those tough times yeah yeah it was hard i mean just like anybody's journey it's not easy or everybody would do it right that's right but i had that's a full-time right. day job i was an out, uh, outside sales rep with industrial equipment okay i was responsible for selling 1.6 million within my territory each year okay so in in that type of business in the type of territory i had it was very busy so i didn't have a lot of free time okay um at that time i had a, a one-year-old baby okay. so we were dealing with that as well so i was building dry pocket at night Okay. getting very little no sleep kidding. but something it, something in me about it was just a fire inside that just yeah. wouldn't put it down well it came from yeah. a personal experience mm -hmm. right and you're like i gotta find a solution to this because mm -hmm. that's a drag mm -hmm. you're in your kayak and you fall and the phone falls down the wallet fa falls yeah. or whatever right no, it's, it's not protected yeah. all right so what are we talking about in the future right without giving too many things away and we'll get a chance for you to to, to show the people that as well but 
future. You talked about maybe some firearms for duck hunting yeah, uh, yeah. right down the road. Mm -hmm. I think working out, I sweat like a hog <laughs> yeah, when I'm yeah. working out. I'd love to have shorts so my phone doesn't ever get wet, you know, that type yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what we you, can what's definitely coming dive up, What's that. coming up ahead? Yeah, we can definitely dive into exploring the workout side of things. We're yeah. not there yet. Yeah, sure. Uh, we're mainly in the fishing market. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So anybody boating, kayaking, paddle boarding, yeah. even jet ski riding and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we grew from the shorts okay. to the world's first automatic self sealing backpack dry bags that float and you can even use them as a buoy to assist with keeping above water. Wow, Yeah. So incredible. Pull that one out, yeah. please. So this is actually one of our newest dry bags okay. that's launching in 2024. Yeah. So what this is, is it's got magnetic buckles here. So instead of these cool. plastic clip buckles here, we're right. replacing these with all magnetic. Right. Slide them to the side, you just get them close and it automatically locks. And then, so but the main feature to this is this right here. This is the magnetic seal. And as mm -hmm. you can see, it's got multiple pockets on the inside. Yeah, yeah. But it seals air water gas tight in under a second just by letting go. Completely waterproof, IPX8 rated airtight seal. So if you bled the air out of it, right. it's waterproof up to 100 feet deep. Wow. If you keep the air in it, it'll float and act as a buoy while wow. keeping everything inside dry. And this is actually a separate dry bag that can be detached. Okay. So. How mm -hmm. did you get to the technology? Like from your idea to that, like how did you figure that out? Like who'd you go to to like, Oh uh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's, I mean, maybe you don't have, it's a long journey of a story, but <laughs> yeah. like how did you go from, all right, I know I want to do it, but how did you find, how'd you get that, tech, uh, that magnetic 17, technology? Yeah, 17 failed prototypes and some crying. You know, <laughs> yeah. we had, we That's went through. That's true grit right there. Well, That's we had true to, grit. you know, yeah. I mean, it, whenever you're trying to introduce something, yeah. you have to fail. I mean, it's the only way, unless you just get lucky and win the lottery with it, but right. it usually doesn't happen. Right. So we started with waterproof zippers, went through 17 different ones, multiple different factories. Every single one of them failed. Some of them would be waterproof for like a certain amount of time for like yep. seven feet, but eventually once sand got in it, it'd fail. Yeah. So then we found a company that makes magnetic strips in different forms for different occupations. And we just connected with them and they made them in our design for prototyping and it okay. worked out. And then long story short, found the investment. Okay. Started was producing. their first prototype, was it like, or did you have multiple with the Oh, multiple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, okay. yeah. So I, I never win the lottery with good right off the bat. So that no, is it always, fantastic. I have to be dragged through the ditch yeah. first. I get that. So, so look, what, <laughs> so there's that line of being an entrepreneur, right? Like, mm -hmm. is it going to work? Is, am I, am I, do I stop? Do I keep going? Like, what made you keep going? So for people out there, they're on that verge because they're there, mm -hmm. right? They've got a product, they got a service and they're like, I'm almost there, but maybe they're thinking, maybe it's time I figure out something else. How did, what made you like, I gotta keep going? So I, I can't speak for everybody because sure. everybody's situations are different. But for me, I, I come from a loving parents, best parents you could ever ask for, yep. but financially they just didn't have much like most of America. Okay. So I had one option and it was go to college, go get a job, pr get promoted, nothing wrong with that. Right. But no, right. if I wanted to create some sort of freedom for my parents, as my dad 74 still works 40 hours a week. Oh. So if I wanted to create any kind of freedom for my parents or for okay. my children, I have to go out on my own. Awesome. So for me, it was that. It was either Good if I quit, you. I fail. Right. And nothing changes in life. Yeah, failure's not an option. Yeah. And I mean, I had a really successful sales career, but yeah. th there's still a ceiling to that yeah. with the industry I was in. And you got to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you know, you got and a this purpose. Is fun. This is purpose. Mm -hmm. It's great. I great to have you on, man. This. Thank what you. What are the stores again, real quick, so people can. Uh, can uh, go so check you out. can find us on drypocketapparel.com. Okay. And then we have 25 accounts right now. We'll be going live with Academy Sports in a matter of weeks on their dropship program. So you'll be able to cool. find our bags and coolers on their website. Okay. Um, Bass Pro's pending. There's a few other larger accounts that are pending, but all the all other right. ones are mid tier and down boutiques, marinas, surf Beautiful. shops. Beautiful. Well, we got to help you get in more. Yeah. All right, great yes, to sir. have you. Hey, you entrepreneurs out there, you hear this story. I know it's tough that, like you said, and like Coach Coffin always said, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. So hang in there, man, and chase that dream. Have backup, of course, but don't give up because once you give up, it's over. If you never give up, you got a chance, no doubt about that. All right, that'll do it for us right here on the horse's mouth. Until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. And we'll see you right here on the horse's mouth. Cheers. 
The team at Heritage Capital Group is special because it's a collection of people across the spectrum. We have people who have been in the shoes of owners that are looking to buy and sell and professionals that have executed transactions helping buy and sell companies for decades. I think when you talk to us, see what our experience is, see what our skills are, see the reach that we have, you'll be very happy with the recommendation.